Hi, this is Rahul from BI Training Hub. In this video, we will see how to create pie charts in Tableau. Let's go to Tableau Desktop. I am using Tableau 2020.1 version. I'll connect to the Sample Superstore Excel. So let's go to this tour file section from Connect. Click on Microsoft Excel. And we'll go to sample superstore Excel file, which is placed in my documents, my Tableau repository, data sources folder. Then you can go to Tableau 2020.1 folder. And there we have sample superstore Excel. Once we connect to this sample superstore Excel, we have three tabs, orders, people, and returns tab. We'll be using orders tab from this sample superstore Excel. Drag this orders tab in this canvas. Once we drag this orders tab, it will show a list of all the columns from that tab. Then we'll go to worksheet one and we'll be on this page. To create a pie chart, we need at least one dimension and one major. So if you go to show me section, in show me section, in second row third column, we have pie chart. If you hover on this pie chart, it shows we need one or more dimensions and one or two majors to create this pie chart. Let's hide the show me section. Now we'll create first pie chart with ship mode and sales. We want to understand how much sales we are getting from each ship mode. So we'll drag ship mode in row. It'll show a list of all the values from ship mode column. So we have four ship modes, first class, same day, second class and standard class. Now we will drag sales column in columns and we'll get a bar chart. Whenever we have a string column and a major, the default graph is bar chart. As the ship mode is coming from dimension section, its color is blue because it is discrete. And sales is coming from major section, so its color is green as it is continuous and will have default aggregation as sum. But we want to convert this graph into a pie chart. So let's go to the show me section. Now, as we have dragged one string and one major, now you can see this pie chart is enabled so we can click on this pie chart and it will create this small pie chart so let's hide this show me section and we will be getting this small pie chart here now if you observe in pie chart we do not have anything in row and columns because we do not need x axis and y axis for the pie chart now the dimension which we have dragged which is shift mode is moved to color the majors which we have dragged which is sales column is moved to angle and on sides even if you remove some of sales from size, it won't impact on the view. We just need one dimension on color and one major on angle for this pie chart. Why do we have this sales on angle? If we do not have sales on angle, as we have four values in the ship mode column, it will have given four colors to this pie chart with exact 25% value. But we, we are not getting same sales value for from each value of the ship mode, that's where we need sales column on angle. So it will change the angle of the graph based on the sales value which we're getting from each ship mode. Right now, this graph is a small graph coming towards left side. If you want to make this graph entire view, we'll go to this fit section from top, which is showing standard right now. Let's go to its drop down and change it to entire view. Once we change this graph to entire view, we'll get this bigger pie chart. Now, whenever this pie chart is changing color, we'll put white color border to differentiate these colors. So we'll go to this color section, go to border and click on white color border. Now we'll have white color border in between two colors. So if we hover on any pie chart, it will show what is the ship mode name and how much sales value we are getting from that particular ship mode. Let's display labels here. If you want to display labels by ship mode and sales, we already have ship mode and sales dragged in color and angle. So if I want label by ship mode, I can drag the ship mode and I'll put it on label. But if I drag the ship mode, which was on color, and if I put it on label, it will be removed from color and will be placed on label. So do not directly drag these columns, which you have dragged inside color or angle. If you want ship mode column in label, Either you can drag it from dimension section and put it on label or if you want to use the same column which you have already dragged inside the view, you can press control then drag shift mode column and put it on color. 
So it will make a duplicate of the same column. So we have dragged ship mode in label. Now we need sales and label. Press control, drag some sales, put it on label. And it will show what is the ship mode name and how much sales we are getting from that particular ship. But when we create a pie chart, we do not show actual values. We show percentage values. So some of all these percentages should be 100%. So if you want to convert this actual sales value into percentage, we can go to the sum of sales, which is placed on label. You can see this day written here, which is for show mark label. Right click on this sum of sales. And last second option is quick table calculation. So if you go to this quick table calculation in that fourth option is percent of total with this percent of total, the actual sales value will get converted into percentage click on it and now you'll see percentage value for each ship mode now the 59 percent of the sales is coming from standard class 15 percent is from first class five percent is from same day and almost 20 percent is from second class now when we create a pie chart there are multiple questions from users can we make it 3d chart can we tilt it can we take one slice out so all these variations are possible in 3D charts and Tableau does not support 3D charts. So you can't tilt it, you can't take one slice out or you cannot make it 3D. Another question from user is can we change the color of this font based on the color given to the pie chart. So right now it is showing black font. If you want to change its color, you can go to this label option. In label, second option is font. So we'll go to font and in font we have match mark color. So if we select match mark color, the font color will change based on the color given to the pie chart. I'll make this font bold, click outside, and now we'll get these labels which are color based on the ship mode color. So this is one way of creating pie chart. I'll just rename this worksheet as pie chart. Now there is another way to create this pie chart. For that, I'll go to next worksheet and then from this mark section, we have this automatic written here. Let's go to its drop down and in this drop down, we'll get this pie option. So if we select pie here, we need a pie chart with let's say category and sales. So I'll just drag category column, put it in row, sales put it in columns. Now when we change the graph type from this mark section, we should not drag anything in row and column otherwise it won't give the pie chart whenever we change the graph to pie chart from this mark section you have to drag your dimension on color and measure on angle for a pie chart we just need one dimension on color and one major on angle that's it so we'll change this graph to entire view then we can go to color border put white color border Press control, drag category on label, drag sales on label. Then we can right click on sum of sales, go to quick table calculation and change it to percent of total. When we change it to percent of total, I can see that percentage value is having three decimal places. If you want to change that number of decimal places, as it is coming on sales column, we'll go to the sum of sales, which is placed in label, right click on it and go to format. Once we go to format, we'll have this numbers in default section go to that number and you can change it to percentage once you change it to percentage you can decide how many decimal places you want i'll just keep one decimal place let's click outside and we'll close this format window so this is another pie chart i'll just name this as pie chart 2 This is how you can create a pie chart. Now we'll change the font color to the color given to this pie chart. So we'll go to this color font and we'll change its color to match mark color. We'll make it bold. Now we'll get this label based on the color given to the pie chart. So that's how you can create a pie chart to show how what percentage values contributed by each entity to make it 100%. But whenever we create a pie chart, there is a thumb rule that we should not have too many colors in the pie chart. For example, if I want to create a pie chart with let's say state column and sales, I'll change the graph type to pie chart. Then I'll drag state, we'll put it on color and we'll have sales on angle. If I make the graph entire view, we'll get this pie chart. 
Now, whenever we have more values in pie chart, it becomes difficult to read the graph. We won't be able to actually compare who is contributing how much value. So whenever we are creating any pie chart, avoid creating pie chart with too many values. You should have a simple pie chart with maximum five to six values in it. If it is having more than six values, avoid creating pie charts because it becomes difficult to read that graph. So that's how we can create different pie charts in Tableau. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos.